Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm Megan the Daughter. Megan, what are we playing and why? We are playing Marvel Legendary. We are kind of making our own version using some of the expansions. We have the Dark City and Paint the Town Red because we wanted to get Moon Knight out because Moon Knight just came out this week. Yeah, and we realize that maybe a lot of you will be watching this after the series is already out, mm -hmm. but, you know, we wanted to kind of be timely. So yes. I have little uh, Daredevil here. Yeah, that's Buddha Man. Yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to play through this. Uh, we're going to tell you all the characters and stuff that we're using. But then, after we do our review, uh, we are going to talk about the first episode of Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Now, like I said, you guys are probably going to be already watch this, uh, the whole series. So it's going to be interesting for us to kind of go back yeah. and see, you know, how wrong we were about how, where the series was going to go yeah. and all that. So let's just check it out. Five heroes that we've chosen for this game are Spider-Man, and he's from the base he's set. He's from the base set, and then we obviously have Moon Knight because it's Moon Knight week, and he is from Paint the Town Red expansion, and then we have Daredevil, Electra, and Punisher, and they are from the Legendary Dark City expansion. Yes, and we are going up against Kingpin, Kingpin who's also from the Dark City expansion. Yeah, so you can see he always leads the streets of New York, so we have them. Mm -hmm. um, we also have, as our henchman group, we have Magia, Magia which he Goons. will still probably mispronounce. And the only reason we learned how to pronounce that correctly is because it's in the Spider-Man PlayStation game. Yeah, so you can see he's a 13 battle, so he's not too bad. But he has Bribe, which is nice. Yeah, and Bribe basically means that you can use a combination of your uh, your recruit, your money, mm -hmm. that we call it, or your fight. So, uh, you know, say if you had a guy that you wanted to use... Uh, that had bribe mm -hmm. and you he was a 10 you could use five money and five fight yep. so uh that's really about the only big keyword i think that's in this one but what, there is um wall crawl wall crawl yes which that's means with moon Knight. you get to put him whatever you buy on the top yeah. of your deck immediately mm -hmm. um so the uh, scheme that we're going to be going against is the organized crime wave and you can see we've got uh, eight twists, which include ten of the Magia, Magia. Magia goons um, as one of the henchmen group. Uh, special rule is that uh, those goons get the ambush ability. Now, that means as soon as the card comes off of the villain deck, yeah. uh, you get to basically draw another which is card. Like horrible in this game. With yeah. Magia goons. When a scheme twist comes up, each of the goons that are in the city escapes immediately. And we are going to shuffle all the goons from players of victory piles back into the villain deck. And evil is going to win when five goons escape. Now, on the surface, this actually seems like a very easy uh, scheme to go against. But we've actually struggled with this. I, I'm not really sure why. It's Those goons seem like they yeah. just keep coming and coming. And the next thing you know, you got five of them that have escaped. Mm -hmm. The Emissaries of Evil is the other villain group that we're using. So... Uh, we're not really going to go over the other rules because we've done a number of these playthroughs already. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and jump right into playing. So just real quick, we have a deck of uh, 12 cards that we're going to be starting with. We yes. have eight of the shield agents and four of the shield troopers. Mm -hmm. uh, and we're going to shuffle those up and we are going to draw a hand of six cards. So uh, I'm going to be trying to play my cards right here so you can see them. Megan... Uh, you want to play, to do yeah, it, yeah, play down, down there in here. front there. Um, but Megan, would you like to go first? Or do you want me to? Yeah, I'll go first. Why not? All right. So first up, scheme twist. Oh, great! We like to get these out of the way early with this scheme because yes. we don't have any uh, goons or anything. Yeah. There's so. actually a good thing too. No one came up because I just have one fight, um, and then five monies. And yes, we do call them monies instead of recruiting. That is just how we've always kind of played with it. Um. See, I will take this Spidey for two, and I'll take this Spidey for two, and Frizzle the one. Yeah, and I didn't mention, but um, the Master Strike, 
basically you have to show a marble knight mm -hmm. uh, in your hand or you have to discard your hand and draw five. Yep. So you got Rhino. He has an ambush. So reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is a master strike, it is not. Each player gains wound. So we're good. We're not doing that. He is a five attack. All right. Well, I only have two attacks, so that does no good. Um, and I will point out that uh, Electra, Punisher, Daredevil, and Moon Knight are all the Marvel Knights. So Spider-Man's the only one that's not. Yeah. So, like I said, sounds easy, but it's not. Okay, I have four recruit. Um, Get anyone but that fancy Electra. The fancy one. Oh, it's the one that doesn't have a board. This one draws a card, and I always like that. So yes. I'm going to take that for two. There's Moon Knight. That's and... like my favorite Moon Knight card. Um, and I'm going to take this Spidey for two. It's mainly for the art. Because I think the art on that card is cool. Because you like his booty. His booty popping out. Jeez. Oscar Isaac has kind of a nice touch. So that ain't cool. Oscar Isaac. It could be. It's fine. Uh, so I got Jigsaw. He's an ambush. Each player discards three cards and then draws two. So I actually have to shuffle my discard. Uh... Sometimes that is a good card to come up because sometimes you have crap cards and then yeah. you draw a decent one. Discard three discard and draw three, two. Discard three, draw two. Yeah, I got to discard. I got to shuffle. Maybe I will so. draw um, up some of my peoples. Discard three, draw two. I did. I drew both of my spideys I just bought, so that's nice. Reveal top card of your deck. The card costs two or more. You can draw it, which is great because I got the shield agent. Um, and then great responsibility. Reveal the top card of your deck. That card costs two or less. Draw it. Nice. So and I it have did. it did. Yes, it was a shield agent. So I have one, two, three, four attack. Three to buy. So he is a bribe. So I'm not getting close to eleven, and I'm one shy of attacking Rhino. Uh, so free to buy. I think I will buy Booty Pop and Moon Knight. <sighs> Child. <laughs> Only the type of quality content you get on this channel. Here we got a Magia Goon who will have an ambush. Who then gifts us another Magia Goon, which is the worst thing to happen. Who then gifts us another Magia Goon. Um, who then gives us a scheme twist. Oh no. So... Um, yeah, Not that's, good. that's really bad because that's that means good. those three are going to escape. So we're already almost, uh, losing. Yes. So what I'm going to do is I am just going to place those guys right here as our counter. And, um, those guys stay there. So now we have to actually KO three heroes out of our, uh, HQ that cost six or less. And whose turn was this? That was Which, yours. No, was <clears> yours. Oh, that was mine. Was your card. So I actually get to pick. Um, yeah, I. Yeah, let's just take. Uh, him. Uh, let's take him take. and take Spidey. Yeah. So. Yeah, that uh, that was not good. So. This one, this Midnight card is my favorite flavor deck, so. Oh, this, this is good. that one. Yeah, yeah, listen to this. I I love this. Villains face the crescent moon's judgment. Then they get the crescent moon's judgment in their face. Yeah. That's which is. Very nice. All right. Uh, my Spider-Man says rescue a bystander. Eh, it's a regular bystander. It's a regular okay. one. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If that card costs two money or less, draw it. Hey, it does. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it doesn't really do me any good because that only gives me two fight, which I can't fight anything. And I have three recruit. Um, now I could... Electra's one. Yeah, and I did draw an Electra, but it's not the right one that I wanted. Yeah. Let's see. What's the Punisher? Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good Punisher. So mm -hmm. I'm going to draw him for at least two. And, yeah, I'll draw. I'll take her for one. Okay. And that is my turn. I get another Scheme Twist. Oh, well. It's kind of good to have that come out decent now. Decent thing. Yeah. So I have two Shield Troopers, which do me no good. Four Agents. Um, I'll take Electra for one, Spidey for two, and that leaves me one to fizzle. Okay. You get Bullseye. He has a fight, so KO one of your heroes with a star icon and one of your heroes with a fight icon. And then you okay. go up against him. Well, this Electra is going to allow me to draw a card. I finally know about Bullseye because I finally watched season three of Daredevil. Uh, I have one fight, which um, is not going to do me any good. 
Uh, but I have one, two, three, four, five uh, recruit. Combined. Actually, did you say he's got bribe? No, no he's got he's fight. fight. Yeah. Okay. Point Dexter. So five. Oh, I get this moon knight. Let's see what it. Do I want to get him? Yeah, I'll take him for five. All right. Okay. I get Egghead. He's an ambush. Reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it is a villain, it oh. is not. Oh. The scheme to oh, list is coming right. up. It doesn't come out. Does not come up. Yeah. So I've got Booty. Booty Moon Knight. Booty Moon Knight. Two fight, which doesn't do me any good. None of these guys are bribe um, that I can afford. So two, three, four, five to purchase. I will buy this Electra for two. And that Daredevil for three. That Daredevil is kind of pointing up his booty too. They like accentuate the butts of these comic cards. <sighs> There's a scheme twist for you though. All right, so yeah, good. So half of the scheme twists are out, which is good. Uh, because like I said, we're already on the ropes with the uh, Magia Goons. Magia. All right, so I'm going to play my Elector, which allows me to draw a card. I will play uh, my uh, Crescent Moon Darts, Moon Knight. It says, reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an, uh, oh, the Instinct or the Tech, draw it. It is neither. It's a zero. Well. Um, but he's got three fight. Uh, I will... Play my uh, Boom Goes the Dynamite Punisher, which says reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. Guess what? It costs zero. Nice. It's out of there. Uh, and because I had already played a tech, I get to draw a card. Oh, and I draw my Spidey, which says rescue a bystander. It's a regular one. And it says reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two, or two money or less, draw it. It does, so I get to draw nice. that. Nice. Can you do something here? Well, let's see. I've got... Two more fights. So, so I actually five. have five you total fights. You take fight. out Rhino before he escapes. And three there. So. Which I would recommend. You yeah. don't have enough to bribe. Yeah. And since he has the escape that everybody would get a wound, I'll take him out. So, yeah, we yeah. don't want wounds. So that's my five fight. And then I have three to recruit. I actually um, can't recruit Maria. anything. I could recruit Maria. And she's actually not bad when you go up against the bribe. Yeah. So I will recruit her. Okay. So that's all I'll do. I get Armagia Goon, who then proceeds to give me Egghead, who then, if this card is a villain, which it is, we play it, so that means Jigsaw is going to escape. Oops. And he says, reveal the top card of the villain deck. There's a scheme to us play. It's not, but it's a Magia again coming up for you. So did you we, uh, get rid of... Six or no, but you got two of those out. Okay. So, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two or less, draw it. It's a one. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two or less, draw it. It's a one. That reveals two or less. It's a two. So I can draw it. Um, okay. So those are monies. So I've got one, two, fight. There's another fight. Monies. Uh, this one, if it's first card, it's not because I drew it. This one is draw a card. So that gives me more money. So and you I do at? get um, plus two recruit because you had played this one. Yeah, yeah. you had played okay. the uh, instant. So I'm at or no, not the instinct, one, the rain or rain. covert. I rain or covert. I don't remember which one did. The red ones, that's all we know. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm one shy on hitting Kingpin. Can you hit? Uh, I can. Oh, no, he, he escaped. He escaped, yeah. Um, the only other bribe out there is the Magia Goons. Um, yeah, because otherwise I'm just at a three fight. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to use one of my monies to bribe a goon. Red is covert. Covert, okay. Yeah. So I took out this. So I fight a KO, one of my heroes. I'll KO that guy. Um, so then I'm left with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight money. 
which is pretty good. Oh, it's a Daredevil there. Choose a number and then reveal the top card of your deck. That card is that number. You can draw it. And it's also four fight, so I'll take that one and fizzle the one. So you get a Maji again, who then gives you Bullseye. Uh oh. So that Bullseye is going to escape. Yeah. And this Bullseye is coming out. Um, yeah, we just grew that Spidey. Okay. Okay, well, this is not really good. I've got two fights and four recruit. Uh, I really need to take out the Magia Goon uh, just because we don't want him escaping. And I get to KO one of my heroes. Um, I'll just KO that guy. And I will buy this Punisher for two. And I really have two more. Oh, I'll buy this Spidey. Okay. I get a Magia Goom, who then gives a Scheme Twist. Okay, so that guy is going to escape. Puts us at four. That puts us at four, yeah. And that means these guys get shuffled back into the deck, which is not good. I'll give you that to shuffle in a minute. So I have one fight, which does nothing. Because uh, none of these guys are bribing. But I have two, three, four, five, six to buy. Um, looks like I'm going to buy this Moon Knight for three. Spidey for two. So I'm at three, four, five, six. And yeah, Fizzle all the one. Right, there you go. So you get... Hammerhead, who has a bribe. So that's nice. He's only five, though. We get to go up against Hammerhead and um, Spider-Man again. All right, so I'm going to play my first strike, Electra. If this is the first card you played this turn, you get plus one fight. So I could, nice. I'm already at two fight there. Uh, rescue Bystander. My guy. That's all I get. Uh, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two recruit or less, draw it. Hey, I get to draw it, which is another fight. Uh, I will play my other Spider-Man that says reveal the top three cards of your deck. Ooh. Put any that cost two or less into your hand. Put the rest back in any order. So one, two, three, uh, two or less. They all are two or less, so they all get to go back into my hand. Uh, which means I can play uh, this Electra, which says draw a card, and I will get, since I already played a Covert, I will get plus two Recruit. Unfortunately, I don't know how much fight I got here. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, and then I have two, four, six, seven Recruit. So that's 12 total uh, on, on the Bribes. And yeah, one shy have? of Kingpin. Uh, bribe is Hammerhead. He's the only bribe you can do. He's five. He's five? Okay, well, I'll take him out for five, which is my fight. Okay. Or no. You know what? You want to use I'll money? Take, uh, I've got five money. You know what? That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use that so because then I'm going to use five fight so I can okay. take out an egghead. There you go. Um, and, oh, so... Hammerhead's fight is KO one of your heroes with a star icon. So I will get okay. rid of that guy. And Egghead does not have a fight. So that is my turn. Okay. I have a scheme twist. Um, we should have already shuffled them back Yeah, in. we don't have any. I don't yeah. have any. So that's good. Get that okay. out. Okay. Reveal top card of your deck that costs two or less. It does. Draw it. So there's only two more scheme twists. Nice. So I have two fight total, which stinks because that doesn't do me any good. Um, and then I have five recruit. Um, I'll buy this Punisher for two. And yeah, I'll take Maria for three. No, that's not bad. Why not? You get a scheme twist. Good. That means there's only one left. Um, all right, so I'm going to play my Moon Knight, which says reveal the top card of your deck, so I get to shuffle my discard. If it's an instinct or a tech, I get to draw it. 
All right, so it is not. But uh, my Boom Goes the Dynamite Punisher says, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it, which it does. So and you have And I get to draw a card. So I'll draw that card. Ooh, yep. that's a Spidey. Uh, I got another Boom Goes the Dynamite. So I'll reveal it. Hey, it's that. Nice. And I get to draw a card. Uh, my Spidey says, rescue a bystander. Regular. See, that one game, though, you got, like, all the unique ones. Reveal top card of your deck. It costs two or less. Draw it. I do. Um, so... Are you, like, generating Sadly, anything? those do not generate any fight. So no. I have five fight. Take out Egghead. And I have four uh, recruit. So Egghead. Your yeah, four fight. Yeah, that's the only thing I can do. And How much recruit? Four? Four recruit. You take the one day level. Yeah. I guess I'll take him. That's it. All right, I get. I thin my deck out. Pretty good though. Majigun. Jen gives Jigsaw, who has an ambush. Each player discards three cards and then draws two. And I had to shuffle my deck in here. Discard three cards. Draw two. I drew worse cards. That sucks. Discard three and draw two. Draw two. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Uh, uh, this is first card you play though. I'll get that bonus. I reveal top card of your deck. It does cost two, so that's nice. So, oh. Electro lets me draw a card. Um, and then because it is a the Covert, that we said the red was? Covert? Covert, yes. So yeah, so that one works there. Uh, Blind Justice Daredevil, choose a number. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it is that number, you can draw it. Zero? Yep. Hey. I figured. I in a game we played the other day, I was always being able to look at the top card of my deck and, and then, then guess it. And then I would be able to guess Super it. Super handy. Um, so then I have that many. So I got one, two, six, fight, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, because I have an instinct, seven, eight. Recruit. So um, eight and six is not. Eight and six is 14. 14! Math is hard. Math is hard. You could take out. Um, I could hit Kingpin. His... Oh, that's true. You could hit Kingpin. Let me hit him. All right. So I will pick that one for you. Oh, you're picking it. Okay. Uh, fight. Each other player plays a henchman villain from their victory pile as if playing it from the villain deck. I do not have a victory pile anymore because I had one Maji again. And he's gone. So what do we do now? You are going to play a hench, a henchman villain from your victory pile okay. as if you were playing it from the villain deck. Please tell me we have something else that is not the Magia Goon as a henchman. Yeah, I don't have a Magia Goon. I have Egghead. He's... Is he a henchman? Oh. It's a henchman. Oh, a henchman. Oh, no. I do not have any henchmen. Because we've given it... up all of our henchmen. Yes. All right? So we don't do that. So we don't have that. Yeah. Okay. Then I have a kingpin. So, okay. So that was my bribe. So that was all I did. I probably should have played up the city a little. But I wanted to hit him. You failed the city. Oh, uh, yeah. It's the wrong comic Franchise. book universe. I was wondering when we were going to get that one. Oh, a Master Strike. It. Yeah. So, like I said, the Master Strike is you have to show a Marvel... Knight. That's all I have I on Marvel Knights. Hang on. All I have are Spideys. So, and honestly, that's not a bad thing. That, that's not know. a bad Master Strike. I was just like, you know, I was like, I haven't had one of those yet, though. Yeah. Alrighty. So. Hey, there dude. You go. All right. We're good. Okay. Not okay. So I'm going to be doing some stuff here. Do some stuff here. All right. First Strike Electra says if that's first card, I get plus one fight. So I'm at plus two fight already. Mm -hmm. That's good. Uh, I will go ahead and draw a card, and because I've already played a covert, I get plus two um, recruit, so I'm just going to put that down there, and I will play this Moon Knight. This is reveal the top card of your deck. If it is an instinct or tech, draw it. It is not, but I will play uh, Boom Goes the Dynamite, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it, which... It does cost zero, but then I get to draw a card because I've already played a tech. 
and then I'll play another boom goes the dynamite and show the card and it actually is um, not a zero cost so Ooh, um, you can KO'd a lot of them. yes but I do get to actually draw a card because I've played tech nice that is a choose a number then reveal the top card of your deck if that card is uh, that recruit I get plus two fight I'm gonna say two two ah no. I don't think I had that many left and then I have two recruits so I actually have uh, four recruits and six fight so that only puts me at 10 total if I was going to bribe anyone. One anybody. shot of Jigsaw. Um, How much fight? I have I have four bribe. So I'm going to take out the Magia Goon. You have four bribe. Okay. And I have six fight. So let's see. Do I want to take out Electro or Bullseye? Yeah, but that's his birthday. Oh, whose birthday? Oh. Max. Yeah, Max, it's your birthday. It's his birthday. <laughs> let's see. He's got fight. K.O. one of your heroes with that. And one of your heroes with fight. Um... I'm just going to take out Electro. Yeah. Electro. Electro. Not Electro. Not Electro. The Electro's there. Yes. Uh, okay, so that is my turn. Okay. My turn is Magia again. Who then will give <laughs> another Magia again. Who then gives a Master Strike. I've got Daredevil still in my hand, so I'm covered on showing a Marvel Knight. I should be fine. Let's see. You should be, but are you? Uh, yes, I have Moon Knight. Cool. Field top card of your deck that costs two or less. It costs three. So then that means this Spidey does the same thing. That would be a three because I cannot draw. Um, so I have three fight. And one, two, four, six money. Um, so I'm at eight. You can take out both I of the can take out both of them, yeah. Clean up the city a little. Yeah, because one more uh, scheme yeah, twist for those guys out, we so lose. Let's not do that. Yeah. You get a bystander. Okay, so the bystander is captured by the Jigsaw. next. Yeah, so Jigsaw gets the bystander. All right, uh, Spider Man, rescue bystander. Yeah, it's a special one. Okay, so this special one is a paramedic. Nice. It says when you rescue this bystander, you may KO a wound from your hand or any player's discard pile. Well, no, don't have any wounds. None of us have that. Yeah. First time we get a cool dude. Yeah. Oh, I can't really. use him this one. <laughs> oh, uh, and then forgot. Also, reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs two or less, draw it. It does not. It's a four daredevil. Hey, do you have that one daredevil? Um, no. Uh, I do have my Moon Knight that says draw the top card of your deck. Uh, if it is an instinct or attack, draw it. It is an instinct, so I do get to draw him. Nice. And then. Um, <clears throat> I will play this Spider-Man that says, reveal the top three cards of your deck. Put any that are cost zero or less into your hand. The rest go in. Zero or less. Or two or that less. That would be next. Two or less. <laughs> Sorry. They're all twos. Nice. So they all go into my hand. Um, yeah, good hand going. Hopefully you can do something with I it. I do. I have a lot of tech there. So I'm just going to go ahead and roll with the tech. Boom. Uh, boom goes a dynamite. I love that name. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it costs zero, KO it. Boom. And draw a card. So I do that. And I actually have another one of those. And that is not a zero. What? It's a one. So I'm going to play my radar sense of Daredevil. Choose a number. One. One. This is what I was doing that is game. This... Hey, guess what? There's what? a one. That's crazy. Uh, if that card is that, you get that fight. I don't actually get to draw it, though. But that is nice to have. Yeah. So I do have. So he's. Four. I need four to, fight. Yeah, separate them. Yeah, I gotta keep them separated. So I'm actually at seven fights. Ooh. And none of these guys give me anything. They just give you. Some they cards. just give you stuff. Um. But I will play this elector, which says I get to draw a card. I don't actually have uh, a covert down, so I don't get the recruit. So. Uh, but I did draw the first strike Electra, mm -hmm. which you probably can't see on camera now. Um, it's not the first card I played, but it gives me one. So I'm at eight, fight, uh, eight, nine, ten, and then I have two recruits. You can see the top of them. Can you? Yeah. yeah no, we're kind of running out of room here. If you scoot them up higher, we can see them. Yeah, that's okay. Okay. They're taking my word for it. Okay. So... I have 10 fight and 2 recruit, so I'm one shy. How? Let's 10 see. fight? Okay. 4, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, 11, 12. Ooh. So, oh, and. You can take she, a jigsaw, though. No. Oh, yeah, jigsaw does have bribe. Yeah. So I will take him out and. Rescue the bystander. I did get that bystander. And I have one left. There's nothing for no. one. So. Hey, that's. Fizzle that. Fizzle a little bit. That's nice. We get tombstone. He's a bribe. And he has an escape. Three to eight. Reveal top card of the deck, cost two or less, which it does. I get it. Um, so I've got three, four, five, six, seven monies. And guess what? We're going to just bribe to take out him. Boom. You get Maji again, who then gives you a scheme twist. Wah, wah. Is that it? That's it. That's the fifth one. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was the last scheme twist. No. Man, if we could have gotten past that, uh, yeah, because he gets oh. to escape automatically. That's all it needs. That's all it needs is five. Evil wins when five goons escape. Oh. Um, and we were actually doing pretty good. The The ironic thing, well, we I, I'll talk about that in our post-game uh. wrap up. So uh, I guess Kingpin gets, once he get the, the, the Kane trophy. So, yeah. He gets Vanessa. He gets Vanessa. Vanessa. games that we've played I've been the one who's hit kingpin um and I think we hit him twice I think in the other games was the most we'd ever yeah, hit him in one game we just the, this like I said this seems so easy but yet whenever these guys pop out like that yeah. um if they keep makes popping it, out that's the worst is when yeah. it's like a chain of them and then so many escape because we had it's awful we still had quite a bit of the deck there and we only had bad. two of the we master strikes came hands. out your hand was like your deck honestly was really good well let's you just were, take a look here let's boom see goes the dynamite that yeah that was, was actually really good so helpful i was still drawing a lot of starters unfortunately but see i had i don't think i, I had five starters left I and then i had I a maria my starters so, yeah, so I was, I had whittled away pretty good. But, I mean, if you look at just the point aspect, you definitely won. You took out so many villains in the city, even though, like, we lost anyway. But we just lost. for point-wise, you won in that regard. Yeah. All right, so now let's get to what we think. Well, as you saw, that actually went pretty fast. And that is kind of the nice thing about this scheme to us, or this uh, this scheme, yeah. and this whole setup, is we've played a bunch of these games where we would play it, you know, lose in, mm -hmm. you know, 30 minutes or less, um, and then set it right back up and play again. Which is something that we said, too, because we're just like, ah, oh, let's just reset it. When we play Marvel Champions, and you're constantly losing and just getting kicked while you're down and then they just keep beating on you you get like discouraged playing more and this one has like a different vibe it's like okay no we can do it like we can just build our deck better we can kind of do something better like you know who knows how it's going to come out next it's a little bit different it doesn't hurt as much when you lose in this game it yeah. still sucks, but it's not, like, as painful as losing in Marvel Champions. Well, and this is still one of my all-time mm -hmm. favorite games. It's, it's top five. This is my favorite deck builder, um, and I, I just, I love it. The, it is really good. The nice thing, I mean, and we've already talked about how much we love the game and all that, so mm -hmm. we're not going to get into that with this review. Uh, the, the whole purpose of, of playing this was because Moon Knight came out uh, just yesterday uh, as the as time of this filming. Uh, so we watched the first episode. So we wanted to to learn more about Moon Knight. You've been reading some of the comics. Yeah, I read the um, the Jeff Lemire's run um, that he did, his little collection. That one was good. It was just as confusing um, as someone that knows absolutely nothing of Moon Knight other than he like made a guest appearance in a Spider-Man comic I read. Um, but, I mean, I had a little bit of a better backstory on who this character was and his different identities, so that was kind of nice. Um, but also... I like Daredevil and I like Elektra, so I was like, let's bring them out. Obviously, I like Spider-Man and it's New York at this point, so let's just throw them all together. 
And Punisher. Yeah, this was all New York. Punisher, why not? I mean, you know. Well. We haven't really watched Punisher, but oh well. So, he goes. He has some cool abilities. So, yeah. So, let's talk a little bit about the heroes. Obviously, we've played Spider-Man a ton because he's from the base set. Mm -hmm. We have actually played with Daredevil, Daredevil. and Elektra before. Uh, this, I think, since we started playing this, is the first time we've played with Punisher. I think so, too. Um, and obviously with Moon Knight. Yeah. And I, yeah. And I really like this Boom Goes the Dynamite because... Uh, I've been able to get so many combos going with, like I had said, uh, being able to peek at the top card mm -hmm. of my deck and then play another card that says, hey, yeah. you know, guess what the, the recruit value is on that card. And if it's that, then you get And it fight. works with Daredevil, too, kind of, with the peeking. Well, Daredevil was the one that I was, I yeah, was using. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it's nice. Yeah, this one here. Uh, this is the Radar Sense. Choose a number, then reveal the top card of your deck. If that card is that recruit you get plus two mm -hmm. fight so yeah i was i was doing yeah. that like crazy but i mean punisher has some really good cards in one game um i got the hail of bullets um which is reveal the top card of the villain deck if it is a villain you get attack equal to its printed vp which was actually really nice sometimes because i could kind of get more attack and then this hostile interrogation punisher um if you had the dream punchy fist as we call it yeah. Um, each other player reveals top card of their deck if that card costs four or more. Um, they discard it, but you get plus one recruit for each card discarded this way. So, I mean, that kind of hurts some of the other player, but it also kind of helps you as well. So, I kind of like his abilities. Yeah, and I think, I mean, I know we've used them a ton we have. in the hinter, and we didn't even know really anything about them until you started playing the Spider Man, I love the Spider -Man game. game. Uh, we've so played hard. against Kingpin before. Um, I don't remember if we've played against this particular scheme or not. I don't think not. we've done the scheme. We've got to go so back many look. schemes that we've played. Because you keep a spreadsheet, don't you, of like what scenarios and stuff we've done? Uh, well, I've I've recorded them. Yeah. yeah. But uh, no, I've I've really liked the combos in in this. Um, the Moon Knight card, like I said, that was the mm -hmm. reason why we wanted to to do this one. Um, I think really has some cool things. Yeah. Whereas like this one. Is this the one that's got the good flavor text? Yeah. Yeah, that's This uh, Crescent Moon Darts one. Um, I like that because that does combo well with, like, Daredevils. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, reveal the top card if, if it's uh, instinct or attack, draw it. Uh, so Moon yeah. Knight has got quite a bit of tech. The we Punisher's got, a got quite a bit of tech. One. I don't think your card's ever came up in any game we've played. No, it has not, which is a shame. Yeah, because the art's cool. We have that one as well. So that one Wall we've Crawl. had quite a bit with Wall We Crawl. have, so whenever you defeat a villain on rooftop this turn, you can KO one of your cards, um, or a card from your discard pile, which is nice. Um, we did, you had, yeah, Crescent Moon Darts, yeah, that one's good. I, so I really liked playing with, with Moon Knight, well, and I have liked playing with these characters. I think the fun thing is, though, for us, is, like, obviously as we get to learn more about some of these different characters, you know, either from, you know, Disney doing shows or movies with Marvel... Um, or with me, like, getting more exposure reading the comics, it's fun to get this game back out, get these characters in that we don't know as much, we're kind of starting to learn, and then, you know, it makes it more interesting playing with them. Oh, yeah, of, definitely. Like, oh, I don't know who this guy is. I'm not going to, like, touch him unless just because. So now we have, like, an actual interest of, like, getting this game back to the table, and specifically this version of Legendary. Well, the nice, nice. the nice thing is, is our Legendary collection is Huge. pretty big. And we've only really scratched the surface because um, when when we first got this, which I went back and I looked, it was in 2014, we played the snot out of this. We did. Um, when we got the MCU uh, version, we played, we played the snot out of that. When And, you know, so we've mixed things up quite a bit. I think the only... We've made some of our little scenarios and stuff, too. Well, yeah, like, and I, like I went through and I created one, I think, for when... Uh, X Men Origins Wolverine came out, yeah. and because um, that was a long time ago, that is. and it's uh, fun for us to and doing us. kind of movies and and such. We did the last one we did with this was the Spider Man, Spider -Man. where we used the live or we used the MCU, MCU version versions. of Spider Man, and we used Mysterio, who was also I think from uh, Paint the Town Red. Yeah. Um, 
So it's it's fun for us to kind of do that, but it, again, it's also fun to get some of these other characters out. And as Marvel keeps rolling out some of these lesser known characters, lesser known like to I us said, at least. Yeah, we have them already in Legendary, so it's a matter of being able to pull them out and put them in, which is fun too. Because yeah, like, because we look up and we're like, we have to have this character. We have so many characters, and then you just go back and look. And I know when WandaVision came out, we were looking at. Yeah. If we had, you know, which, obviously Wanda and Vision and which we, the kids. We were, I think we had, I think maybe we had Wanda, but we didn't have Vision. And I don't know if, I don't know if we had the kids or not. But I went and I bought uh, some of the expansions uh, from Miniature yeah. Market because they were, they were the smaller box ones. So they were fairly cheap. I mean, I, I want to say like 15 bucks. And obviously whatever. it's Marvel. We're going to, we're going to want that in our collection, you know. Just for that fact alone, too. And I do know the some of those later uh, expansion sets for Le for Marvel Legendary. Mm -hmm. They have some different stuff. I mean, there's like some split cards that are, oh yeah, like two two heroes in one, you know, type kind of thing. Interesting. And we haven't even like said got to that yet. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, with Moon Knight coming out, this gave us a chance to want to get that character out yes. and try to do you know figure out. Well, you know, we were sitting down one time and we said, well, who, okay, we want Moon Knight, but who do we want to go with him? Yeah. And, you know, we got thinking, well, okay, well, um, maybe I, I don't know if I looked him up and saw that he was a Marvel Knight. So then I said, well, Daredevil and Elektra. Well, that and prompted Punisher. us to use more of the Stark City box. I feel like we don't touch it as often other than for like pulling out Daredevil. Yeah. I don't feel like we get that expansion out as often. So it was kind of nice for that reason. But also then this kind of became like a little streaming version. It's so like all of these shows are now streaming on Disney Plus. Yes, they which are. Which is kind of interesting. Punisher and Daredevil. And, and Daredevil and Lectures obviously with Daredevil. But so it was kind of funny how that worked out. So. You do you, have to have a content warning approval though if you're watching these shows now on Disney Plus. Yes. You have not seen the Ben Affleck Daredevil movie, have you? I have not. Or the Electra movie. The Electra movie you can skip. I it was not. pure trash. Um <laughs> And the first Punisher movie, I know some people liked it. I didn't. I, um, I mean... I, I liked the guy playing him. I just didn't like the story. And John Travolta was in it, and he was not... A, eh. It was not a good thing um, for him. I mean, all I have know of Punisher is what I've seen from him. You know, guests appearing in season two of Daredevil. Um, I mean, I've seen the guy in person at a Comic-Con. I, yeah, I have too. We have John too. Bernthal, we, sat, yeah. we sat through part of his panel. That was for The Walking Dead, though. It was, yeah. But we're like, oh, yeah, we've seen that guy. And you've um, met Charlie Cox. I have met Charlie Cox. It was like his first con. And he was a very sweet man. Um, he was very nice to meet. Um, so, I mean, it's cool. We have, like, some attachment to some of these people, even if we don't know terribly much. But I've gotten really into Daredevil comics and Spider-Man comics. But yeah, you've been buying quite a few Daredevil I comics. Have, and you've been yes. buying them in what you said, the opposite order? The opposite order. order. Yeah, which is really funny. You buy um, one, then you buy the one that came out before it. Which I don't, I didn't even mean to. I just picked it up and I was like, oh, it's like three bucks. I like this arc. I'll buy this one. And then I found the, the one that was previous and it just, it's kind of ironically keeps happening that way. Yeah. But yeah. But no, uh, like I said, Marvel Legendary is still one of my top games of all mm -hmm. time. I'm assuming it's still one of yours. Yes, definitely. Um, just because you know the comics a lot better than I do. I have I read a little bit of the comics as a kid, um, but really my knowledge comes from the TV shows and the movies yeah. and what you've you've told me and from what I've, I've gleaned from the cards. Um, that's and, like, and that's okay because, you know, everybody comes to the fandom, you know, yes. in different ways. And, and there's no, you know, wrong or right okay. way. And, um, it's fun for us, though, getting this to I like the exposure. Too. Because, yeah, especially with exposure because then, you know, I'm, like, reading and doing some more research and stuff. Especially, oh, my good friends really got me into comics and he knows so much and he informs me. And, like, we'll see a card or something. I'll be like, hang on, let me text him. And then I'll, like, get all this information. So it's fun for us to, like, sit down, play it, have fun, and learn something, too. Yeah. Let me, uh, where's that booty night? Uh, booty moon night. Booty moon. Here, I want to show those off um, specifically there here. Okay, there he is. So you can see the booty stick, the sticking booty. out there. Um, so just real quick, I'm not really going to talk about that. We've, we've kind of talked about these quite a bit. Um but I think it's kind of cool. I will admit that when we first got Paint to Town Red and I saw Moon Knight, I'm like, who the heck is Moon Knight? I had no clue who he no is. No idea, yeah. Um, and the fact that he is kind of Egyptian-based, I kind of, I mean, that's kind of a, a thing I like. Um, yeah. You know, like, really kind of like, like Stargate and things like that. I like the Egyptian mythology. 
uh, or Egyptology. Egyptology. Um, so obviously we like the mummy. So, so. yes, yeah, so the mummy being one of our favorites, but I like the fact that, you know, I didn't really know that this is kind of a giveaway, you know, in a way seeing him, you mm -hmm. know, hold the onk there. Um, let's see what is his good flavor text. Um, criminals feel the cold light of the moon on their skin, but they never think to look up. And, and we've already read that one, which is awesome. Actually, that that might be one of my my favorite uh, flavor texts. I do like that that has flavor text. Some of the other cards I noticed didn't doesn't. really. So that was fun yeah, to like, that read doesn't. that one. So, yeah. So those are actually the only two cards that have the yeah. uh, the flavor there. Mm -hmm. So I think that's about all we can really say about this. You know, yeah. We're a little heartbroken that we lost again. Uh, we but we do enjoy this. playing with these these cards. Yes. Um so, we've now watched the first episode of Moon Knight. We have, yes. So, now we're going to tell you kind of what we think of how the episode was, where we kind of think it's going, mm -hmm. and just kind of, you know, our general thoughts on it. All right, what did you think of the first episode? I liked it, but I was very confused and obviously i think that is the point because we're supposed to be confused just like steven was the whole episode and what the heck was going on yeah and if you haven't watched it yet spoilers but you yeah know, um i thought it was kind of interesting how they showed it from one of his personas yes. only mm -hmm. uh and when he would switch to the other persona it was basically like he was blacking out and you didn't see any of the action no which that was i thought it was funny though it was a good kind of direction my biggest complaint with the episode was that you've only got six episodes in this season. Yeah. And it took until the very last scene in order to get Moon Knight on the screen. That's true. And I really thought that when you have such a short amount of time, mm -hmm. that should have happened at least at the midway point. Yeah. And I do know that is kind of a common complaint from what I've heard and seen. That, you know, it is like an hour episode, but you only have like those five minutes at the end. You could have easily cut down so much of Steven's life. I mean, it's nice to see that side of him, but, you know, he's got a crappy job, you know, at the museum. Like he's Yeah, weird. they could have done that in one scene. He gets mistreated and all this stuff. Like, that sucks, but like, you could cut that down a little bit. Yeah, and I did read uh, just, I think it was this morning, um, that there is a scene where he is going on a date and they, yes. they, I mean, that could have, that whole thing could have been cut out, it, but it was they there said for the that purpose they, of time. Well, that, yes. To and show they, how it worked. they said that they actually fought to keep that scene in and maybe it was because of the yeah. time. Well, which I think is interesting because, you know, cause her name was Donna. When you see her at the museum and he's like, oh yeah, we still on for Sunday. He has no idea what she's talking about because realistically Mark probably set up the date because Mark is more charismatic and was just like, okay, cool. Let's take this woman on a date. And then it's back to Steven. He has no clue what's happening. Yeah, and if you have no clue what's happening that's, as we're talking normal. about this, uh, <laughs> that's because this character has multiple personalities. He does. He does. Um, so it's interesting because and it's, then... And, and who are his characters or his So his Stephen Grant is the one that we mainly focused on this episode. Mark Spector is like the true like Moon Knight, like chosen persona. Um, so he's kind of like the other guy. He's the guy you see talking in the mirror back to him in the final scene. Which I thought was was also kind of cool. Yeah, but it's cool because, like, again, like you're saying, he had no idea about this day, and then you go back, and it's like two days have passed, and Mark basically took over his body. He got the new goldfish. Yeah, I, I'm dying to find out what the deal is with this fish. The goldfish? Yeah, because he was like Nemo. He, he had like he had one, one fin. one fin, and then, you know. Then like, he's got two. <laughs> he got two, so obviously Mark's like, oh, crap, this fish died. I gotta go get him a new one, but he had no clue what was going on, but... It is really interesting. Um, the bad guy, I have no idea who he is. Is Arthur Harrow, but he's freaky, breaking the glass, putting it in his shoe. He's like some yeah. weird messiah. Got a cult going on. It's weird. But the tattoo thing was interesting. Yeah, like the scales, like how it shifted when he like judged you. Well, that was kind of cool. And you know, with introduction of Doctor Strange mm -hmm. and uh, Wanda, you've kind of got that whole mystic thing going on. The, the chaos magic, I think they mm -hmm. even said that he has got chaos in he him. He has chaos in him. Uh, so there's a way that they can tie that type of, um, mm -hmm. of I don't, do I call it power? I um, guess. Because Wanda's power, her, her magic is, is chaos, chaos magic. magic. Um, is Doctor Strange's chaos magic? One really? of the Stranges might be Ooh. in the multiverse. Spoiler. Well, I mean, if you watched What If, that one kind of went off the deep end. Yeah. So. 
yeah. And, you know, one of the things I didn't call out in the intro, but I, I need to call out now is, you know, this shirt, this is the Marvel Civil War shirt. It has mm -hmm. all of the characters on there, and I know you can't see Moon Knight. He's there. way down here. Uh, but it doesn't, doesn't have, have Electra. Yeah, which, like you said, she's not really in a lot of things. But I do yeah. have... Um, it does have Daredevil right there. Yeah. Punisher is down here. Spider-Man. Yeah. Yeah, this is like my go-to Marvel it shirt. Is, yes. But uh but yeah, back to uh to Moon Knight. Mm -hmm. Um I liked the episode. Yeah. I just thought that because there were only six episodes that they should have gotten to him being Moon Knight a yes. lot faster. I mean, it's a cool way to end the episode because like you're hyped, but then you have to like wait a week if you're like us, like when at the time of filming, we still have to wait now till Wednesday to get the second episode. So hopefully we'll get more Moon Knight then instead of, you know, Steven. Or maybe we'll get more of Mark and kind of see how he fills in the gaps. Yeah, and he's kind of like Superman. You know, I've I've seen in the, the trailers. Ultimate. Well, no, because <laughs> of uh, how his uh, costume just appears. Appears, that's on true. Him, you know, yeah. which I guess, you know, that could be the chaos magic. Yeah. I don't know. But no, yeah. I'm very interested in seeing where this is going. I did like the first episode. Mm -hmm. uh, I think everyone that I talked to has liked the first episode. Yeah. Some people thought this was like the best Marvel show ever. Uh, I don't know that I'd go that far. Uh, Hawkeye, I think, is still my favorite. Yeah, um, Hawkeye's good. And I liked WandaVision. My buddy Ryan, who I mentioned a lot, uh, he thinks that Hawkeye, I think, is the best. Mm -hmm. Moon Knight is second. And he hates WandaVision with it's a passion. And he didn't yeah. like uh, Falcon and Winter Soldier either. How about which, Loki? Um, I don't think he watched Loki. I think Loki was a little on the weird side for him. So, Loki's so but good. Loki was also a little I, on the weird side. I loved it. Um, I was good. Not really sure why I'd rank that, but you know, we may talk about that in a future show because with the new Doctor Strange movie coming out, we mm -hmm. will be returning to this. Yes. Uh, because we do have Doctor Strange, mm -hmm. uh, and also. And yeah, and Wanda. Mm -hmm. And uh, She-Hulk series is going to be starting at some point. At some point. And we'll be, doing, we'll be doing a show on that as well. Yes, I'm excited um, to get to that. And we'll probably also be doing Marvel Champions uh, because Somewhere we have those there. characters yeah. as well. So mm -hmm. More some, Marvel content. Something to look forward to. So anything else you want to say about Moon Knight? I mean, we don't really know a lot. I don't no. know anything about the character other than no. what I've seen so far in the show. So I read one comic, as I mentioned earlier, it's the Jeff Lemire's run. Um, it was kind of a very short, you know, little series. It was just as confusing. I mean, I have a vague idea of who these characters are, but again, like that whole series was wonky and it's weird because you're jumping back and forth. You're trying to figure out kind of like who's in control and everything, what's real, what isn't. So I feel like that's good for the episode. If you want to check it out, it's a quick read to kind of get a little bit more information. But I don't think the show is really following like that storyline or anything. Now, do you have plans to read any of the other Moon Knight uh, I think comics? I, like I want to read more because I just want to read more comics in general. So probably at some point, this was just the one that I was recommended as like a newbie to Moon Knight to kind of get introduced. Yeah, I and it's a not newer really run. Comics, it's not so. like the old comics, like old. old. But I will say this, uh, any excuse we have to get this game to the table mm -hmm. is a great excuse yeah. because we love this game and we have so many characters that we can, you know, mix and match mm -hmm. and try things. I thought what we did in this, uh, this video with these characters, I thought really worked out really well, even though we didn't win, we had a lot of fun playing. We them. did. Yeah. And again, and got new characters to the table that we've never used before mm -hmm. in this game. So yeah. that's always fun to kind of get those out, learn their abilities and change the game a bit yeah so that is marvel legendary with our focus on moon knight and our little review of the first episode of yeah. moon knight so we will catch you guys next time later gators thanks for watching our video we hope you enjoyed it and if you did click that like and subscribe button mm -hmm. you can also follow us on social media like facebook and twitter at dad v daughter and if you like what we do and you want to support us you can visit our patreon page so thanks for watching thanks